So guys, here we have a collage canvas and they can look quite cool if you take a single image and possibly split it up into three like the one behind me here or you can do it into two, four or six, whatever you desire. But I've got a customer that's wanting something very similar here behind me. So if you want to see how I do this, then follow along. So when it comes to canvas frames, I really like having mine precisely made the right size no matter how many I order. So I order all of mine from Intense Designs and they so happen to also use a CNC router from AM. So that's really supporting everyone out there. So that's where I order my frames from. So there's many different ways we could lay this out and the final layout that we've come up with is one big square in the middle and then two slightly longer rectangles on either side and we're going to break up that single image into that layout. All right, so the first thing I have to do is I've got to measure the canvas frames individually to get all the sizes correct. Then once I've done that, I'm going to open up a new Photoshop document and take the measurements all together to create the entire size that we need for the canvas frame. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna open Photoshop. Um, I've already opened up the document we're gonna be using for the canvas print. Uh, it's this Turkish mosque that we're gonna be using for the client's boardroom. So what we first need to do is obviously separate the image into three pieces as we're doing the collage print. Um, so this is going to sit separately and separately from the centerpiece. So it's going to be three frames that we're going to be using. So we've got the measurements now for the canvas. So that is going to be 385 that we need to take our ruler here and find 385. So I can get to 384.7, that's close enough. And then we're going to take our tool over here. To automatically jump to the ruler mark so you don't have to worry about that now that that's done i'm just going to click on the actual layer here right click layer via copy now you're going to open up a new document so we must just remember that we have to add in the four centimeters of the canvas frame the width of it because it's a wrap around so we're going to add a black border to that so the document has been added with an extra four centimeters on the top here and four centimeters on the left and right so we're just going to drag in our image now that we've copied across i'm just going to press b here just so we can select this file we're going to just drag it over like this Then we're going to center it as you can see here it's been centered and all we're going to do is add in a rectangle over here which is going to fall behind the artwork i've already done that so we're just going to unhard it and there you go now you've got your four centimeters on the top here and i can show you that it is four centimeters we're just going to do this and as you can see we've got 40.2 millimeters four centimeters so everything there is all good so now the next thing to do is just to do the other artwork and we will show you that now. I've already dragged in the other artwork over here. So you'll see I've already done that one there. Simple as that. Now that we've done the left and right panel, I'm just gonna save it as a PSD working file. So we can always go back to it and make adjustments if need be. And then we're also gonna save it as a JPEG just so we can print it on our EcoSolvan printer. So obviously we've copied and just hidden the left and right panels as we've already done them and got them saved for print. So now all I have to do is create a file now to the size of this with the added extra four centimeters on the top and four centimeters on the right to make a total of eight centimeters in width and eight centimeters in height. All right, now that that's done, uh, just going to save this artwork now as a PSD, as a working file, so we can go back to it if need be. And then we are going to also save it as a JPEG, just for the print. All right, now that all the artwork is complete, it's just off to printing.
the first thing we need to do is take our canvas, split it up into the sections that we need. From there, we're gonna lay down a towel on our bed or any type of fabric. And that's just to prevent the canvas from being scratched on the bed when we are putting the frame on top of it. Then once we've done that, we basically need to take the canvas and fold it over uh, one on either side. And that's just to see whether or not we've lined up our actual print to the front of the canvas. And that way you need to go ahead and put one staple in on all four sides, just so that you can pick it up, have a look to see if it's centered. Once it's centered, you can then go ahead, lay it back down again, and you need to apply one staple on opposite sides and continuously rotate the frame until you've stapled all the way from the middle to the outer edges before you go ahead and actually fold the edges. And that's the best way to, to make sure that it's tensioned correctly like a drum. Just before you fold the edges, make sure that it's all lined up because you still have the opportunity to unstaple and restaple to make sure it's straight and as tight as a drum. Once we've done that, we're going to trim the edges on the inside of our frame and then finally apply our tissue tape, which will protect any nails or any staples from scratching the paint off the wall. From there, we just need to go ahead and install the frame or allow the customer to do so. We're here in the customer's boardroom. We've put up the canvas. Um, the collage canvas is looking fantastic here. Brad, what do you think about the setting? Well, to be honest, I think that the colors work really well in the boardroom here, especially with the oak table and the sunrise there on the left, and it just fits really well. I did want to ask, why are we using eco-based solvents rather than water-based solvents on this canvas? All right, Brad, that's a freaking good question there. Um, basically, we use eco-solvent more than we use water-based, purely because water-based um, any person that comes with a, a damp cloth and goes ahead and wipes the canvas, the ink will be gone. But there is a pro and a con. Pro is that water-based gives you a much better depth of feel, better color and a pure black where eco-solvent just misses that part. But in terms of longevity, this will last a lot longer and survive someone by accidentally trying to clean it versus doing uh, water-based ink. You could also use UV that would also look fantastic, but then you have to use a different type of canvas. It has to be a polyester based canvas, not a cotton one like we've got here. All right, that makes perfect sense on why we used eco solvents. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And thank you for watching this video and we hopefully are gonna see you in the next one.